go down. Look at this man. Duke Dave, touchdown. Good evening, sports fans, and welcome to this On Location TV 19 presentation of Metro East Conference High School Football. We are here high atop Higgins Memorial Field on the beautiful campus of Hill Murray High School as we get set to watch the South St. Paul Packers take on the Hill Murray Pioneers in what should be a very good contest this evening. I'm Sam Erickson here with my partner, as always, Michael Lawrence. How are you doing this evening, Michael? You know, not too bad. It's a little brisk tonight, but the break out the wool socks, but it should be an excellent night for football. The Packers come in with a record of 6-1, and one, and they could clinch the East Metro Conference title tonight, and Hill Murray looking to play the role of spoiler, even though they're with a record of 3-3, three and three. so not too bad of a season for the Pioneers as well as we take a look at the standings right there. You see South St. Paul there in first, Hill Murray in fifth. Hill Murray will receive the ball to start the game, and here comes the opening kick, and we are ready for football. They let the kick bounce. It is scooped up by Hill Murray, and the returner is quickly brought down, and they will take over for their first possession of the game, first and ten. Yeah, the returner there looked like he had some troubles of fielding the ball, but luckily he was able to scoop it up and get a couple of yards on the return. Interesting strategy there with a kind of a short pooch kick. Yeah, you know, it's very effective trying to like catch the receiving team napping a little bit and hopefully you kind of get some miscommunication on the kick return team as they don't know who's going to receive it or not. Not too bad of a game to start the game off. So Hill Murray will go first and 10 from their own 24. Receiver goes in motion to the backfield. Handed to Wilson. Wilson bounces off the side. And he is ultimately sworn by Sean Wilson ball here. Run out of bounds for a minimal gain. Now we're going to see a lot of running from Mar Marshawn Wilson tonight as he's the East Metro's Conference second leading rusher with 567 yards so far this season. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of running tonight as both these teams love to run the ball. Marshawn Wilson going about 6'2, 205, big size, good speed. He'll be looking to get the ball quite a bit. Hill Murray goes second and four. One back behind the quarterback. Sends a player in motion. And he will keep it. But he will be brought down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of two. The Packers defense was not fooled on that triple option. As they probably have seen quite a bit of that themselves going up against their own offense who also likes to run the triple option. Did a nice job of containment, uh, making sure everyone was on assignment. Someone had the quarterback, someone had the running back. Good job forcing this third down. Absolutely. Quarterback Sam Westby brought down for a two-yard loss. So that will bring up a third and six for Hill Murray. One receiver out wide right for Hill Murray. Wilson goes in motion. Quick screen to Wilson. The ball... Incomplete pass, ruled a fumble as a backwards pass. And Westy's that will, pass. It goes out of bounds and will bring a fourth down for Hill Murray and they will be forced to punt. Sam Westby off a little bit of a rough start so far. He is the conference leading passer with 693 yards so far. So we're gonna expect him to sling the ball around tonight. Not so good on that attempt, but he'll be able, he'll, he'll complete some passes. No, it's a 55%. A completion percentage so far this season. And a team that will not shy away from throwing the football. So the Pioneers set to punt here. Snap back. Punt is off, nearly blocked, but it will be fair caught at midfield by, for, the, by the Packers, the and they will take over the for their strike. first possession of the game, first and, first and ten. Yeah, Trey McCloud did the smart thing of 
calling for the fair catch from Jake. Ogren from uh, Hill Murray looked like he was downfield and going to make the tackle if need be. Good coverage there by the Hill Murray. And so Salsay Paul will start here first and 10 from midfield as Dan, quarterback Dan Petrzewski gets under center. Two backs behind him in the eye. Two wide receivers all right. Fakes the handoff, keeps it himself, rolls out to the right. He's got a ton of room to run, and he will keep going until he will be brought down. Petrzewski on the carry. Yeah, we're gonna see, we are going to see a lot of Dan Petruski tonight. He loves to run the ball, and he is quite the Game effective leader 35. for the Packers' triple option. First and 10 for South St. Paul from so the far this season, he's yards. responsible for 43% of the Packers' total offense, so he likes to run the ball in addition. He can throw it, too. Well, nice job there by number nine, Dan Petruski. Petrzewski brought down, out of bounds there. First and 10 from the 15. Petrzewski hands off inside. And the back will rumble ahead for a gain of about three Run yards. Ball Met by a plethora of pioneers. Jan Bedorklin also another gain running of back four. for the Packers. Who Second and six who for the Packers from the Hillary 11. This East Metro Conference, he's number three. So we'll expect to see him get a couple of carries tonight in addition to Dan Petrzewski. So second and six here for South St. Paul on the Hill Murray 11. Petrzewski keeps it out left. Petrzewski on the keeper. Marshawn Wilson with the Marshawn tackle. Marshawn Wilson on the tackle for the time. Running back as well as playing some defense. Petrzewski did a nice job. Game of seven. That First and goal for option. the Packers from the Hill Murray 4. will pick up the first down and that will be first and goal for the Packers on the four yard line. I form behind Petrzewski. He will once again fake the handoff, keep it himself, roll right, and he will waltz into the end zone. Petrzewski on the keeper for a four yard and touchdown Sasse for South Central. Jump out to that 6-0 lead. Petrzewski is showing what the athlete that he is, kind of running out to the right side, hurdling a would-be tackler and getting that touchdown. You're Hill Murray, this is not the position you want to be in. You faced a third, three and out, and now you're facing a seven to zero hole pending the PAT. Pretty easy there for Petrzewski. Richie, I'm trying the extra point for the Packers. And a nice drive there for South St. Paul to start off their day. And the kick will be good. Extra point is now good. Extend the cell same 923 are remaining in the first quarter. South St. Paul 7 with Hill just under zero. nine and a half minutes left to go here in the first quarter. The game comes down to a field goal. There's no better kicker in the conference than Nick Ritchie, who already has two game winning field goals early in the season. One against one against uh, Bonham Ehide and the other one against St. Thomas, St. Thomas Academy. Uh, the one against Bonham Ehide was in overtime. As we saw that he was there for long location. Good weapon to have for the Packers. Very nice added advantage. You have a, a, a consistent and reliable kicker in the, at the high school level, which South St. Paul luckily does have. You know, you can tell him easy part from the other players because you can see who's wearing the bright neon orange shoes. Really easy to identify. Absolutely. It's like something uh, more suitable for Halloween, perhaps. So Richie will get Richie set to kick it off, off once again. Hill Murray to receive. Hill Murray trailing 7 to 0. And here is the kick. And there it goes. Once again, a short kick there for South St. Paul. This one will be picked up. And return for about 8 yards, where Hill Murray will take over first and 10. Short kick fielded and returned to the 30 yard line. The Pioneers will start for the first and 10. If you're Hill Murray, you got to get something going here. I know it's still pretty early in the game, but you do not want to face an R3 and out and give the ball back to this Packer offense and show that they can run the ball, take some time off the clock, and be very efficient with doing so. 
And South St. Paul in that first drive showed some of the advantage they have in size there, being able to kind of get good push on their offensive line and really open up that running game. Hill Murray, first and ten, handoff goes left side. And the back will be tripped up after about two, three yards there. Over the ball here, gain of three. So that will bring up a second and seven for the Hill Murray Pioneers. Sam Westby brings the Pioneers to the line. One back behind him, sends some players in motion. Back to pass, looking to the right, and nearly intercepted. Westby pass, intended for number 17. Anthony Bennett, so it's incomplete. Westby over two so far tonight. Not not getting it going. Third and seven. Good job by Jackson. The eyes of the quarterback had looked like he was a bit locked on to that receiver. And Jackson nearly it, it was the interception. Easy. It was pretty easy to tell because this is kind of the same formation. They had that last play with only one wide receiver. Once again, they split one wide receiver out right. The pitch goes to Wilson. And he will be brought down. Christian Marshall Wilson. Wilson. First down, but he looks to be short. Sorry, Wilson, that's another Hillbury. First and ten for the Pioneers from their 40-yard line. You can see the speed of Wilson on that pass. Wilson is going to be brought down. Second and ten for the Pioneers from their 40-yard line. You can see the speed of Wilson on that play. He also had some pretty nice blockers there, getting out in the open field and getting those blocks and helping pick up that first down. So it'll first and ten for Hill Murray on their own 40-yard line. Wilson once again goes in motion, gets the hand, looks up the middle. Not much room to run. He will power through. But he will be brought down after a gain of three. Wilson, the ball carrier. LeBron, some of the tackle for the Packers. Gain of four. Second and six for the Pioneers in their 44 yard line. Before he goes down. That'll actually be a gain of four yards, bringing up a second and six. Larry's kind of doing the one wide out, split out wide, and they're kind of doing kind of a tight punch formation with a wing. One wide receiver spread way out to the left. Back goes in motion, gets the pitch, and he will be wrestled down to the ground for a loss. Sarah Vinsky on the toss. LeBros makes the tackle for the Packers. Loss of one. Third and seven for the Pioneers from the 42 yard line. Murray to try and get that first down. It's not well executed this time. But the Pioneers are doing a really nice job defending or blocking against uh, this Packers defense. They're going to to attack. And so that one yard loss will bring up a third and eight for Hill Murray on their own 42. Sam Westby, quarterback under center, one back behind him. Marshawn Wilson going in motion. He will not receive the ball. The run goes up the middle and will be stopped short of the first down after only a two yard gain. Bringing up fourth down. Four down and that will force Hill Murray to punt once again. Game of three. Play fourth and five for the Pioneers. Third and five. And he had the conference leading passer, Sam Westby. And I know he's kind of having a rough start tonight. Give the guy Westby has a punt for the Pioneers. The cloud backseat to return for South St. Paul. They try to use Marshawn Wilson there as a decoy. And uh, maybe trying to catch South St. Paul off guard if they were keen. Oh, and here comes a fake off the punt. And the pile will run. Westby on the fake punt. Westby will pick up the first down. Excellent by right there by Hill Murray. They definitely catch the game of 11, and that's another Hill Murray. First and 10 for the Pioneers from the South St. Paul 44. Did you see that again? He looks like he was looking to punt. Maybe a little bit of a broken down uh, coverage, broken down um, protection there. Decides to just keep it in his own hands, see some daylight to the right, and he makes that first. So Hill Murray will have first and 10 from the South St. Paul 44. And Westby will keep the ball sneaking up the middle. And Westby on the keeper. Will pick up a good chunk of yards. Host of Packers. 
gain of four. Second and six for Hoover from the South St. Paul 40 yard line. Pickup will make it a second and six for Hill Murray. And they will have two backs in the backfield. One receiver right, one left. Pitch goes to Marshawn Wilson. He cuts it back inside. And he will have no one. Get on your feet, Pioneer Nation, because that's a Hill Murray touchdown. Marshawn Wilson, nice through the right side of the house and call defense for 40 yards. Short. 
desperately trying to do something to stop the size of this South St. Paul team. Difficult task when on defense. And they know what South, South St. Paul wants to do. They want to run the ball. You're not going to see too many pass attempts from Dan Petruski. First down by the nose of the football. First down just by the nose of the football. First and 10 for the Packers from their 39 yards. The Packers will have another first down. This one from their own 39. Like Dan Petruski, this off the South St. Paul offense may be one dimensional, but they do run efficiently. Uh, Petruski does has only maybe attempts about eight passes a game, so he's going to run the ball at you, which is surprising because he actually enters play as the third leading passer in the conference. A heavy running conference. Looks like we have early right, on play. The and South St. Paul will be flagged for ball start. Dead ball fall, start ball fall on the start offense. A penalty Five for first down. The will be first and 15 for the Packers in their 34. The offensive line, you cannot have those penalties if you're going to run first team. Because it just moves, you, just moves you backwards. And so after the penalty, it'll be first and 15 for South St. Paul. I form two wide receivers out to the right. Handoff goes up the middle, bouncing off a tackle, breaking right. And ultimately dragged out of bounds. But Jorkland did a nice job of avoiding that arm tackle, picking a huge, huge yardage on that first down. You're Hill Murray, you can't have those arm tackles if you want to beat South St. Paul tonight. You gotta do the small things in order to compete with South St. Paul. Excellent job of Jaden Bjorklund staying, staying up after the initial hit. Takes the hit, almost dragged down and keeps on running. Big pickup there for South St. Paul. They will have a first down in Hill Murray territory. Petruski keeps it. And he will pick up a good chunk of yardage as a pile of pioneers in on the tackle. He will. Well, it's a very close. I'm trying to decide. It is just short, and that will bring up second and inches. Second and less than the yard for the This South St. Paul team just runs a triple option. It's the thing, the beauty to watch them play it. I mean, the defense will fool the given doing the fake handoff to Bajorklin as he had a couple of tacklers. And so three backs now in the backfield for South St. Paul. They will hand left side up the middle. It looks like he will just Whoops, get enough for that first down. And with a quarterback like Petrzewski, the triple option is a good good option. And uh, Gain of one, South St. Paul first down. It's no wonder that they have success with it. He's a big kid out there, and then we can also get production from a back like Bjorklin there, bouncing off tackles. Uh, really helps helps that running attack. Yeah, and they both have at least 400 yards on the season so far. So, I mean, they're a good one-two option here in the triple option. Prevents teams from, you know, keying on one player. And so that'll be first and 10 from the Hill Murray 23. Oh, and a, a busted play. Looks like Petrzewski lost the ball. He picks it up himself, takes a hard hit. But the Packers will keep the football. Uh, very lucky to come up with the ball as that could have definitely ended a lot worse as there was a host of Hill Murray defenders in the vicinity. It looks like uh, Petrzewski just kind of lost a handle on the snap there, able to fall on it. Yeah, that's a cold night. I mean, his hands might be getting cold. Leads to some of those fumbles from the center to quarterback exchange. His legs are warm. His hand and throwing arm may be a little cold. Petrzewski keeps it after the fake, faking the handoff to the left side. He is stood up, and he will be stopped because of forward progress. Stood up by yeah, this puts Hill Murray in a rough position, or this puts South St. Paul in a rough position. So they've not, not been known to run the ball, but with, the, but with uh, Chad Sexwire, he may be thinking about pick, running the option, picking up some yardage in order to run on first or run it on fourth down, because it seemed like it might be four down territory for this team. So after the gain of two, 
It'll be third down and 11, South St. Paul. Handoff goes up the middle to Bjorklund. Bjorklund makes some moves. And he will have a first down. Or they could make the coach's decision easy and pick up the first down on third down. Just hand it off the middle. They may be looking for some yardage there, but they got a little more than they had hoped. And a first down. But Jorkland just running tough up the middle. Gets, gets about 14 yards there. And quite a big hole for him to run through there at the line of scrimmage. So that goes first and 10 at the 11-yard line. Petruszewski hands to Bjorklund once again. Bjorklund bouncing around, but he will be brought down inside the 10-yard line. Looks like he makes it to the seven, which will bring up a second and six. Yeah, the credit has to go up to the offensive line. They've been running the ball extremely efficient, and if you want to run the triple option, it starts up front with your uh, offensive line, and they've been doing a good job tonight just keeping the defenders back off their running backs and just picking up the tough yards. So South St. Paul threatening here. A second and six from the seven yard line. We have a tie, bo tie ball game at seven, just under a minute remaining in the first quarter. Pe Petrzewski keeps it. Petrzewski on the keeper. But he will be brought down. Gain of a yard. And he will gain a yard. Third down and five for the Packers. Uh, it's, it's definitely probably the best that Hillmurray's done defending that triple option tonight. Uh, it seems like they've been, the, the Packers' offense is picking up some nice yardage on the triple option. That was kind of the first time they really defended it well. So time counting down here in the first quarter. It looks like South St. Paul will try and get a playoff. Just under 20 seconds remaining. Petruszewski goes under, under center, two backs behind him, hands to the up back, Bjorklund, as he tries to muscle his way forward, but he is ultimately stood up and brought down by the Hillbury defense. And that will be fourth down as the first quarter comes to an end. We will have that fourth down for you as the second quarter begins. Tie ball game here, 7-7 seven, seven from Higgins Memorial Field on the campus of Hillmary High School. The Hillmary defense is starting to stiffen up a bit as, uh, with the Packers offense here in the red zone and threatening on the goal line. And they kind of need to put a couple more of those stops together tonight if they want to have a chance of winning this game. Earlier in the drive, Hill Murray had South St. Paul facing a third down and 11. South St. Paul able to pick up that first down, so they would love to get a key stop here. Now here's a big decision. With a great kicker like Richie, now do you <laughs> run it or do you kick it on this crucial fourth down? You know, the Packers offense has been running pretty well, and I mean, that was the first time that Hill Murray has been able to kind of stop that rushing attack. I mean, if you if you're the head coach for the Packers, I, I say just go for it. I think I would agree with that as well. Chance it. Very, that would even up a turnover on down. Still Murray pinned very deep into their own zone. I would take my, I would like to take my chances with that. Thank you for being part of the fine tradition here at Hill. It looks like the teams will begin to take the field as the second quarter is set to begin. Yeah, it looks like Dan Petruski is running out onto the field, leading this offense attack for the Packers. And they will indeed keep the kicker on the sideline. South St. Paul deep in Hill Murray territory. Fourth down and three from the four-yard line. Here we go. Receiver in motion. And it will be a pass by Petruski. He's hit as he throws, and the ball will be intercepted. Oh, and a big return coming here. And a big, big defensive play there by Hill Murray. I don't know if any of us saw that coming. You know, we weren't expecting the pass from uh, the Packers, but it certainly was there. Um, and if you're the Hill Murray defense, you definitely answered the call on that drive as the Packers came away with zero points, and that's what you needed after scoring on the previous offensive possession for the Pioneers. That was the stop that they needed as the Packers' offense was just moving down the field in a very workmanlike fashion. I'm not sure they even had one pass that entire drive. And we'll take a look at that replay. Great pressure from the outside on the left, forcing the bad pass. And Hill Murray will bring it in for the interception. They will take over first and 10 on their own 23. And it looked like 
Malik Holmes was kind of open there in the flat. We'd been interested to see what he could have done there if he could have got the touchdown. So first and 10, handoff goes Marshawn Wilson's way. He will pick up a couple. And you have to wonder if we will see if South St. Paul faces a fourth down and short near the goal line. Well, I doubt they will pass it again. Yeah, you might want to give it to Nick Ritchie, see what he can do. Either that or just keep it on the ground. <laughs> so maybe trying to uh, catch Hill Murray off a bit there, expecting run, and uh, they answered answered quite well. And now we're going to see what Hill Murray can do in the wing tee formation. And they will indeed go with that wing tee. Late motion. Sam Westby, quarterback under center, sends Marshawn Wilson in motion, fakes the pitch, nearly brought down, tries to scramble out, and he is taken down Westby, for a big sack a and a huge loss. Yeah, that play had trouble from the get-go as everyone on the defense Who's line from the Packers was rushing towards Westby. Right over center, West that play was blown up from the very beginning. Third and about 20 for Hill Murray from the 12 yard line. And it just looks like no one is there to block. Nose tackle Paxton Woods, and he just kind of blows up the play. Unfortunately, unable to bring the bring down the quarterback. Quarterback trying to keep the play alive, ends up losing a little bit more yardage. And yeah, that will bring up a long, long third and 20 for Hill Murray. First time we've seen either one of these teams going in shotgun formation. Westby goes in shotgun, looking to pass, rolls to his left, throws deep downfield. He has a receiver. And it falls incomplete. Yeah, Westby was trying to look there for uh, Dave Zerabinski. Just he was definitely locked on from the early going, as we'll see. Like kind of roll out, and he's just eyeing his wide receiver. Rolling yep. left, he did have a man. Westy the nice job McLeod by the Packer the defender to get his hand up there, making it difficult to bring in the catch. That will bring down, bring up a fourth and 20 for Hill Murray on their own 12, and they will punt. Punter will be quarterback Sam Westby. A bad snap goes high. He handles it and is able to punt it away. And it gets a favorable bounce where Hill Murray will down it on their own 49, where the South St. Paul Packers will take over first and 10. Yeah, good play there by Sam Webster. What could have been a disastrous special teams play for them. But if you're a Hill Murray, that's kind of discouraging with your offense going three and out after getting that big stop on fourth down. And we've seen, and this Packer offense has been moving the ball very effectively. And starting with the ball on Hill Murray's side of the field will not bode well for this Hill Murray defense, although they did come up with the big interception on the last possession. And we are all knotted up at seven here, just under 10 minutes left to go here in the first half. South St. Paul quarterback Dan Petrzewski said to, but a flag will come down. And there'll be a delay of game against South St. Paul. A delay of game penalty will go against the Packers. First and 15 for the Packers. And that will march them back five yards into their own territory, where they will take over first and 15 from the 46. Second penalty tonight for the Packers is the first one was an offsides. And receiver goes in motion, far left. L little play action. They will throw once again. And just long for the intended receiver. Yeah, the play was the play was there. Just Petruski just couldn't get it to his wide receiver. Looks like Petruski sent Trenton McLeod in motion late. He kind of wheel routed out of the backfield, found himself open. Unfortunately, the ball just overthrown. So that'll be second and 15 after the incompletion and delay of game penalty. And handoff goes up the middle. Jaden Bjorklund will pick up four, bringing the ball to exactly midfield. Uh, Hill Murray's been doing an excellent job in these last two plays, kind of settling down on defense. And, uh, 
Seems like the only the only way that the South St. Paul offense has been unproductive is penalties and passing the ball. So I'd be curious to see what they do here on a long third down and 11 from midfield. Petrzewski under center, two backs behind him, sends McLeod in motion. He fakes the handoff up the middle, keeps it himself looking left. Looks like he might, and he is taken down. Huge sack for the Hill Murray defense. And that is number 23, Marshawn Wilson. He has a touchdown, and now he has a sack. So big, big stop there for the Hill Murray Pioneers as they will get the ball back. As a two-way athlete, you can just tell that he has quite the impact on this team for Hill Murray as he has just set a touchdown and a sack tonight. Yeah, the defense has, has answered the call the last few plays with the interception now forcing the Packers into a three and out. You can see Wilson was standing up there on the left side, didn't fall for the fake, and just chased down the quarterback. Nice play. Yeah, this will be uh, the Packers' first punt. We'll see what uh, Dan Fertuski can do. And you got to feel with every stop, Hill Murray gaining confidence. Hopefully it will translate to the offensive side of the ball. And takes a favorable Packer bounce there on the punt. And it will be down inside the 20-yard line. Hill Murray will take over first and 10 on their own 19. And with just over eight minutes remaining, we still have a tie game at seven here from Higgins Memorial Field on the campus of Hill Murray. Yeah, as you can see on the Pioneer on the Pioneers team that the players are wearing uh, some pink socks for tackle cancer night here, and the dance team was trying to get some donations for breast cancer awareness. The fans as well adorned in pink. So first and ten, motion, screen pass out left, and makes the man miss, and that will be a pickup of about three. That will bring up second and seven for Hill Murray. Davis Rudinsky kind of showing the moves he has on that screen play. Avoids one tackler, nearly avoiding another tackler. Picks up some nice yardage. You know, both teams haven't really been throwing the ball tonight as they just let in their workhorse running backs do most of the work. And so that will bring up a second and seven for Hill Murray. Quarterback Sam Westby under center. Got one back behind him. Marshawn Wilson goes in motion, gets the pitch from Westby. And he will burst ahead for the first down and more. Late flag come, comes in. Flag on the play. Wilson with a nice 15 yard gain, but that may be negated. Yeah, it looked very similar to the play that he scored his first touchdown on tonight. It does look they like to get him out in space, and with that speed, you can see why. Holding and on the offense. Will indeed be holding. penalty for the spot of the fall. Repeat second now. The ball will be placed at the Hilbert 19. It will be second down and nine for the Pioneers. From that and spot. so after the 10 yard penalty at the spot of the foul, it will be brought back to nearly the original line of scrimmage, just a yard ahead. It will bring up a second and nine for Hill Murray. Uh, just unfortunate there for Hill Murray getting the holding call as they do not need those penalties tonight. After the interception, they had the long uh, loss on the sack. Now they have a penalty negating a big first down pickup after making a big stop on South St. Paul, the last possession. Hopefully they can uh, limit those mistakes and move forward. Westby faking a pitch, hands off up the middle. Will Sontag brought down. He will get it out to the 23-yard line, which will bring it. Will bring up a third and five for the Pioneers. Third and five. You think Hill Murray would pass with Sam Wetsby? Um, only has kind of one completion on the night. Wetsby leading the conference in passing yardage, leading the Metro East with 693 yards. And it looks like Hill Murray will take their first time out of the half. 
And we will also take a timeout as well. We want to thank you for watching this presentation of On Location TV 19 Sports. We will be back in a minute. There's a place not so far away. A place where you don't have to keep the volume down. Or clean up your room. A place where you don't have to make time for free time. You don't have to do anything but show up. You'll find all sorts of creatures in this place without have to. The silly you. The proud you. You may even meet the curious you. There are lots of views to catch up with. Ask your parents to take you to this not so far away place. Come to the forest, where the other you lives. But first, stop by discovertheforest.org. All right, and we are back. We want to thank you for joining us for this presentation of Metro East Conference High School Football in South St. Paul, taking on Hill Murray. Hill Murray facing a third and five here from their own 23. Quarterback Sam Westby under center, goes back to pass, looks right, has a receiver. Receiver cuts up field. Big gain there, brought down by defender Joe Jaden Bjorklund. And that'll be first down, Hill Murray. Westby did a nice job of doing a quick three-step drop, finding his receiver for the first down to move, keep these chains moving here in the second quarter. So big gain there, we bring up a first down and 10 for Hill Murray on their own 43. Just under six minutes remaining here in the second quarter. All tied up at seven. So big third down conversion there by the Pioneers. First down and 10, Wilson goes in motion. Wilson does not get the handoff. They fake it, roll in left, finds a receiver left. Slides down, looks like he lost his feet there. But he does pick up the first down. And nice grab there by number seven, Will Sontag. Ooh, I was worried about that play there for Hill Murray. It doesn't look like that play was dead from the start, but Westby using his legs, getting the ball out to Sontag, who picks up the first down. I wonder there maybe if it was a little bit of a busted play or by design. If by design, that's quite a play. And so quarterback Sam Westby once again goes under center in the wing tee, sends Marshawn Wilson in motion. This time Wilson will get the pitch, but he will be, he loses the football late. And South St. Paul, South St. Paul will in fact get the ball. And a big turnover there, regaining possession in Hill Murray territory. Oh, we've seen that toss earlier tonight. That time wasn't well executed as the Packers defenders did a nice job of fighting through the blocks and getting to Wilson and forcing him for the fumble. Wilson looking to generate that speed, maybe keeping the ball out a little too much. Want to tuck that inside so the helmets and arms cannot jar it loose. Unfortunately, it does find the turf. South St. Paul will take over. First and 10 from the Hill Murray 44. That looks like Brennan Chanley got that fumble for the Packers. Good hustle. Handoff goes up the middle. Bjorkland powers his way through, still dragging defenders. And he will eventually pick up a seven yard gain. Uh, but Bjorkland doing a nice job tonight and just running up the middle, getting those tough yards. I mean, he hasn't been stopped for about three, four yard gains. He's getting about seven, 10. And for being their power back, he really doesn't, doesn't look all that big. Quarterback Dan Petruszewski goes a little bigger than him. <laughs> But nice job running hard and picking up extra yardage, yardage there by Bjorklund. Petruszewski sends a receiver in motion. He once again will hand off up the middle. Once again, it's up back Jaden Bjorklund. And Bjorklund will pick up the first. This rushing attack for South St. Paul has about 15, 100 yards rushing so far this season. So they're proving once again that they can run the ball pretty efficiently. And over 200 yard a game average there. 
And Pedrzewski looking to option. He does. He goes out left. Pitches and a nice job. Trucking the defender there. Picking up the first down. And a good run there from Paxton Woods, number 34 of South St. Paul. After that last offensive possession there by the Packers, the kind of stop or they were forced to a three and out, this offense is starting clicking again. So they once again will have a first down, this time from the Hill Murray 19. Bjorklund once again going up the middle, once again picking up positive yardage as South St. Paul is on the march. Second and four for South St. Paul from the Hill Murray 13 yard line. After the defensive line for Hill Murray, you kind you have to fight your blocks and just kind of maintain your ground so it kind of stops that Bajorklin running up the middle, picking up some nice yards. So he picked up six there. It'll be second and four. Petrzewski fakes the handoff. Petrzewski the ball carrier. And he will pick up a first down. First and goal for South St. Paul from the Hill Murray six-yard line. So that will bring up a first and goal from South St. Paul from the Hill Murray six. Game all tied at seven as we're counting down to about three minutes remaining here in quarter number two. And it definitely seemed like this Packers offense is moving the ball pretty easily here and pretty quickly. And goes once again up the, to the up back Bjorklund and he Bjorklund. will just waltz into the end, the end zone, zone for an easy South score. Texas. And that will give South St. Paul the 13 to seven lead. Yeah, if you're Hill Murray, you have to be discouraged because that was a little too easy on that drive. Uh, the Packers just were just able to run the ball with ease and you could definitely see it on this touchdown play. It looks like they want to keep sticking with the hot hand there and Jaden Bjorklund, nice job. So Nick Ritchie comes on for the extra point. Snap is good, hold is good, little bit of pressure, but he will hook it through and true and will give the Packers the 14 to seven lead with just over three minutes remaining in the first half. And we will send it to break here after that score. We wanna thank you once again for watching this presentation of On Location TV 19 Sports. We will be back with you in a minute. Any questions? No. You know. We're not magicians. We can't read your mind. We need your, mind. We need your questions, each and every kind. Will this react with my other medicine? Hey, what are all these tests even for? Okay, welcome back. We are set for the kickoff after South St. Paul takes the lead on their second touchdown of the game. The run right up the middle by Jaden Bjorklund for six yards. Kicker Nick Ritchie set to boot it away, and he does. And there it is. Hill Murray takes it. And he's got some room to run, but is unable to escape a tackler there. Good return of about 30 yards, and Hill Murray will take over first and 10 from their own 35. Hill Murray has fairly decent field position uh, to start off their offensive drive. We'll probably see them in the wing T formation some more. Uh, hopefully they could get something going here to match the intensity that the Packers offense has been going to tie up the game here going in halftime. Maybe small in number, but we're strong in this. And so with just under three minutes remaining, Hill Murray will once again take over, first down and 10. Quarterback Sam Westby under center. Sends a player in motion deep into the backfield who receives the pitch. And after a stumble, minimal gain there. Davis Zarembinski losing one. And that will bring up a second and 11. The Packers defensive line is doing a nice job here the last couple of plays of just kind of dominating the Hill Murray offensive line and pushing them backwards. And it looks like Zarembinski lost his helmet on that play, uh, has to come out. 
So second and 11 here for Hill Murray. Trailing 14 to seven, just under two and a half left to go second quarter. Marshawn Wilson in motion, deep in the eye. He will get the handoff. He'll go up the middle, but he'll bounce to the right and he will take off. He has got speed, he has got space. He has got one man to beat and he will not be able to beat him, but an impressive run brought down inside the five. And a little bit of fireworks from Mr. Marshawn Wilson. Hill Murray needed that spark. They needed something big going in the halftime. Just an excellent play there by Marshawn Wilson. Boy, all they need for Marshawn Wilson to get going is giving up touchdowns. <laughs> yeah. Sure, Hill Murray is hoping that Wilson will net him a touchdown, one touchdown more. So as we count down just under two minutes, first and goal from the three yard line for Hill Murray after the big pickup from running back Marshawn Wilson. Sam Westby under center, sends it back in motion, got a deep eye for him, hands off to the left, kind of up the middle, he will fall over for the touchdown. Davis Zarembinski for the Hill Murray Pioneers as they pick up their second touchdown and make it 14-13. And this has been the most points that South St. Paul has given up here in the last four games. The offense, a Hill Murray proving that they can stay with this Hill, uh, with the South St. Paul defense. Just an excellent counter punch there by the Pioneers. And Eric Burns on to attempt the extra point, looking to tie this one up. High snap, it's brought down. And Burns will kick it through and through. And he will have a tie ball game 14-14 with 141 left to go second quarter. Well, I get the home crowd here excited on senior night. Just a good response by Hill Murray. Just a nice handoff to Zarabisky. He able to take a hit, spin off, and fall into the end zone for six. Just as we had thought, we have a close one here. Reminder that at halftime, we'll have another stellar performance from the Hoover Dancy. South St. Paul giving up more points than they've given up in the last couple ball games here in the first half. Yeah, Hill, Miller, Hill Murray proving that they could stay with, this, stay with South St. Paul in their rushing attack. Got a couple of big plays there for Marshawn Wilson keeping them in the game. Wilson with the 64-yard run that will set up that set up the touchdown by Zarembinski. Here's the kickoff from Burns. He once again goes short. Packers let it bounce, but do pick it up, and they will have some room to run to the left. Cuts back inside and just tripped up. After impressive return, they will bring it to the 41 of Hill Murray. Uh, I nearly think brought it all the way back there. I think we just heard a collective sigh of relief from this home crowd as the returner was stumbling there and just kind of fell down. If he was maintaining his balance, he could definitely want the distance there. Not a whole lot of uh, Hill Murray kick coverage there on that left-hand side, it looked like. He only had about one man to beat. We'll take a look at that replay. Let's it bounce, picks it up, goes to the left. No one there. And it looks like the turf monster might have swallowed him <laughs> up there a little bit as I'm not sure the Hill Murray defender got an arm on it. Petrzewski looking, looking, but he has a defender. He doesn't see blindside. And he will be brought down for a big sack. Andy Mueller on the sack for the Pioneers. And Andy Mueller, the senior on senior night, coming off with a big defensive play. If you remember, he was the one who brought the pressure for the interception earlier in the ball game. A huge play there for the Pioneers' defense as, as South St. Paul had excellent field position. And like They could just run their option there with about 70 seconds left. But now it kind of forces them to pass the ball a little bit more, which is something they're kind of uncomfortable in doing. And clock continues to run under a minute here, first half. South St. Paul may be will hand it off. Hill Murray looks to be content with just letting this one go to the end of the half. They have not called any timeouts to get the ball back. After a short game, it'll bring up third down. 
That will be third and 23. Scoreboard here at Higgins Field momentarily reading third and 66, but I was pretty sure that was inaccurate. So it'll be third and 23. Under 20 seconds. We're now down to about 10 seconds remaining. And the handoff will go to Bjorklund, and that will take the and that will expire our first half of play. We have a tie ball game here, a good one, 14-14. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that Troy Dana didn't want to like call a timeout there and force Saint, South St. Paul to punt the ball. Maybe hopefully just to get some like a, a block punt, kind of got a huge play going into the second half. Just kind of surprised by that. And now and that will be the end of our first half. We will be back for the second half for you. I want to thank you for watching On Location, TV19 Sports. We'll take a quick break here at halftime and have that second half for you when we return. Thanks for watching. Oh, hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey. Where have you been? I lost my cat. Oh, that's not right. Yeah, so I made this cat magnet to try and get him back. Cool. Does it work? Kind of. Nice. Yeah, but that's not my cat. Gotta keep working on it. See ya. See ya. Anything's possible. Keep thinking. Get started on your own inventions or just play some games at inventnow.org. As we get ready to start the second half, Burns to kick off for the Pioneers. Yorkland and the Critics back to All right, welcome back, sports fans. We are here atop Higgins Memorial Field, getting set for the second half of Hill Murray versus South St. Paul. There goes the kick. We're all knotted at 14 after the first half. Kick is bobbled, but picked up, and return bounces off a tackle and brought down at the 29. You know, a nice line drive there by the kicker. Kind of an interesting play to start this second half. is definitely a lot colder than it was at the beginning of the game. Try to catch uh, the return game for uh, the Packers, see if it kind of fumbled the ball. He kind of had a hard time picking it up. We heard the Mercury's at about 44 right now. I don't know, the way I'm feeling, I'm a little skeptical of that. Feels like it's dropping rapidly. Might go down under freezing here tonight, as it is October in Minnesota. First and 10, South St. Paul. Petrzewski hands off up to Bjorklund. Ball, Hill Murray St. Paul came down. Refs have yet to make a signal. Players get up slow, and looks like the referees will say he Game wasn't three. back down. Second and seven. Uh, the defense line there for and Hillbury doing a nice job of clogging up the middle, making it so Bjorkland can't uh, finish up a run. Bjorkland with a touchdown in the first half, picking up a lot of good yardage as one of the options for quarterback Dan Petrzewski in this South St. Paul option offense. And Petrzewski will option. He pitches it out right. Malik Holmes dragged down, falls awkwardly, and looks like he will be a little shaken up and slow to get on his feet. And it looks like we'll have a little injury timeout. Yeah, it looked like Malik Holmes was kind of hit pretty awkwardly and didn't. Legs have been wrenched under his body there as he's hit on top. Unfortunate, Holmes' first touch on the game. He takes that pitch. Oh, it looks oh. like, yeah, just maybe a little, yeah, stretched out his groin there a little bit. Just an awkward, awkward way to go down. Unfortunate there for Malik Holmes, number five of South St. Paul. As the trainers tend to Malik Holmes, we will take a break. As we're just underway here in the second half, we want to thank you for watching TV19 Sports, and we will be back in a minute.
when life's this hard, graduating can be even harder. But you can help Jose and the students in your community make it through by visiting BoostUp.org. All right, and we are back. It'll bring up a third and five here for South St. Paul after the injury. Receiver goes in motion. Come set. Petrzewski looks to the left. Low throw, but it will be brought in by the receiver. Theodore Fritt did a nice job snagging that ball so it doesn't hit the ground, picking up this first down. Uses the body, cradles it in. Big first down, and I believe first completion on the day there for South St. Paul. Yeah, definitely Petruski's first completion so far this game. And South St. Paul will once again option. Quarterback keeps it, cuts it up the middle, and pounds his way forward for a gain of six or seven. Petruski just lowers his shoulder, lowers the boom, and picks up another yard. Gain of seven. Good Second power run by him. Look that, looked like that play broke down a little bit, but a uh, nice improv there from Petrzewski to pick up positive yardage. Ah, he's a tough runner. That'll be second and three. I'm sure we'll see a little bit more of that running game, although we've seen quite a bit with that weather going down. The ground and pound from South St. Paul seems to be a success, Ooh, continues the success as the handoff goes to the up back, Jaden Bjorklund. He picks up the first down. Game of 10, South St. Paul, first down at the Hilmer. Yeah, so that'll be first and 10, South St. Paul. The Yorkland gets Blue the handoff the once here. again. And a nice pickup first there the on first seven. down. Second yeah, three, nice back to back plays Blue run there by Bjorklund. Picking up some uh, tough running to start. So that'll be second down and three here. 30 from the Hill Murray 32. Handoff goes Roman up the middle. Here. Close to a first down. On the for the Pioneers. And they will give it to him. Dana first and ten. First down for the Packers from the Hill Murray 28. All right, so first to 10, first and 10, South St. Paul, just over nine minutes remaining. Tie ball game, 14-14, South St. Paul on the march. Fakes the handoff, Petruski keeps it, but he will be brought down in the backfield for a loss. The Hill Murray defensive line doing a nice job there, clogging up the middle, making it so Petruski can't go anywhere. Good defensive play there by Hill Murray. Petruszewski. Petruszewski under center. He options, pitches left. Flag comes in. Petruszewski on the pitch, flag on the flag. Looks like it's in the vicinity of holding here. And there was a three yard pickup, but that may be negated because of the penalty as we await the referee's call. And they will stand around, talk about it. Look at the flag. Point Holding the flag. on the offense. And it is ten yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat second. I think they're trying to determine the spot of the foul there, as uh, holding is a spot foul here at the high school level. The ball will be placed at the Hilbury's 37. Second down and 19 for South Saint. So the ball will be marched back all the way to the Hill Murray 37. And that will bring up a second down and 19 for the South St. Paul Packers. And for team that was marching well here in their first possession of the second half, that penalty will hurt their progress. Handoff goes up middle, Bjorklund. Bjorklund bouncing off tackles, dragging defenders. Flag Bjorklund once again coming there. in late. Flag on the play. But Jorklin just does a nice job accelerating up the middle and bouncing off would-be tacklers and making up tough yards. And 
Holding. Again, on the offense. Again. Ten yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Ten yards from the spot of the foul. So that will be 10 yards from the spot of the foul, and that will bring up an even longer second down. Foul will now be placed at the Kilmurray 46 yard line. That'll be a second down and second 27. Down and from that spot. South St. Paul doing a nice job of running the ball, but they keep getting these penalties. They're just moving the wrong direction, and they just may end up stopping themselves. So it'll actually be a second down and 28 after the penalty, and looks like we'll have a quick timeout on the field. And South St. Paul will spend their first time out of the second that is half. Their first charge to time out of the second half. And with that time out, we'll take a look at some of the previous games here in the Metro East. Looking at South St. Paul coming off four consecutive victories. Beating Henry Sibley, Hastings, Tartan, and Simley, respectively. And tonight's their last game of the season, hoping to clinch the Metro East Conference all to themselves tonight. We'll take a look at Hill Murray's previous games, two and two in their last four, wins against Hastings and St. Thomas Academy. And coming off consecutive very tough losses, one, at, one against Simley on the 26th of September, and then the uh, overtime loss 13-7 last week against Henry Sibley. All right, we're ready to resume here after the timeout. Dan Petruszewski under center, sends a back in motion, fakes the handoff Bjorklund, looks left, and it will fall off the fingertips of the intended receiver. Theodore Frid is unable to bring it in. Nice play call there, but just unable to make the connection. Uh, really forcing Dan Petruski just to do something he's not kind of comfortable doing with. Hasn't really thrown the ball too much tonight and only has one completion so far. You know, they wanted him to make a quick throw there, but looked like he was kind of throwing off the back foot, fading away. You do want him to kind of step up, step through that throw, and hopefully be a little more accurate, although receiver gets some good hands on the ball. You'd also like to see him bring it in as well. So on the long, long third down and 28, they Keep it conservative, hand it to the up back of Yorkland, who will not pick up the first down. Does pick up positive yardage, but South St. Paul will punt, it looks. Uh, it seemed on that drive, the Packers offense has kind of hurting themselves more than what the Hill Murray defense was doing, as it kind of picked up two consecutive holding calls to put them in a tough position to gain the first down. I wonder if. Uh, the Hillbury coaching staff maybe uh, mentioned something to the referees there with a couple quick holding penalties in the second half. Maybe they saw something in that first half that they weren't happy with. So the kick goes deep. Back to receive for Hillbury. And unfortunately, the South St. Paul Packers unable to down the ball inside the 10 yard line. Let it bounce on the goal line, and that will be a touchback. First down and 10 for Hill Murray. Hill Murray will start first and 10. Yeah, just unable to come up with a big special teams play and down the punt inside the five. Just kind of rolled past them. Looks like quarterback number 13, Sam Westby of Hill Murray, pulling triple duty this evening. We've seen him at quarterback, we've seen him at punter, and he was back there returning, waiting to return the punt on that last play. Yeah, on these high school teams, your most athletic guy is your quarterback, and that's kind of true for both these teams tonight. So Westby will go under center now. Two, two backs behind him in an eye formation. Gives the handoff to Marshawn Wilson. Wilson tries to go up the middle, but it Wilson's is plugged up, up with defenders, and he is stopped for a minimal gain. Uh, Wilson doesn't really do too much damage running up the middle. He's kind of more of tossing to the outside and trying to get him in the open space to turn the corner and see if he can outrun some defenders. He had a couple of huge plays, one going for a first down, another one leading to their second touchdown. Just not known for going up the middle, more just like going to the outside. Yes, and that minimal gain was so minimal, it was actually a negative play. Uh, he loses yardage there, it'll be second and 11 now for Hill Murray on their own 19 yard line. Just over six minutes remaining here, quarter number three. Wilson goes out to left, fake the screen to him. Rolling out right goes Westby, looking downfield. Not much there, throws across the body and it's intercepted. But does the defender able to bring down the ball? It comes out loose. 
Dusty's pass intercepted on the play. And the looks like the refs will gave say that St. Paul. He, give him the forward progress, say the interception is made. The Big play there by the Packer defense. Just a bad play there by Sam Wetsby. Do not want to throw your throw the ball against your body as bad things tend to happen. And big, big interception by defensive lineman Arafat Santa making an amazing play there, picking up his defense, picking up his team, and South St. Paul will take over first and 10 on the Hill Murray 18. Yeah, Marshawn Wilson was trying to help out his quarterback there, but kind of should have ran up the sideline instead of going back into the middle, which led to that interception. Westby outside of the pocket, maybe could have just gotten rid of that one. Not a good decision for Sam Westby. Not a good one. Anytime you throw throw the interception of the defensive lineman, you're uh, you're not not happy. So they fake the pitch, handoff goes to the left side. Inside coming. And that'll be a pickup of four there for the Packers. And that'll bring up second down and six. So should be sugar ration there from Second, South St. Paul, kind of doing a little bit of reverse. Hasn't seen that too much tonight. Handing off to Trenton McLeod. And he picks up four. So second and six here for South St. Paul. I form behind quarterback Dan Petruski. He hands off up the middle, fullback Jaden Bjorklund. Bjorklund the ball carrier. Bjorklund will pick up four, bringing up a third down and two. Orlowski on the tackle for the Pioneer. Jane Bjorklund doing, doing what he does best, and that's running up the middle, picking up the 10 yards, making this a pretty manageable third down for South St. Paul. Big, big third down and two. I form once again, up flag comes in. Looks like we might have some movement. Referees confer. Dead ball fall, encroachment ball. on the defense, lined up in the neutral the zone. Defense. Five yard penalty, the result is first the down. South St. Paul Packers even closer. They will go first and five from the five yard line of Hill Murray. Yeah, it seemed like the defensive line for Hill Murray was one of their defensive tackles was kind of sneaking in there in the last couple of plays. And this time they finally got caught on it. Keeps it himself. Looks right, powers ahead, and he's in for a score. Dan Petrzewski with the quarterback keeper gets into the end zone and will put up, put South St. Paul up six points. Now very similar to this first touchdown as he just kind of runs it to the right side to pick up the touchdown. Nice job there by the quarterback. Nick Ritchie on to attempt the extra point here. He's two for two on the night for South St. Paul. Looking to give them the seven point lead. Snap is good, hold is good, kick is also good. So that'll give the South St. Paul Packers the 21-14 lead here. With 430 remaining in the third quarter. The Packers did a nice job of capitalizing on that interception that led to that touchdown, just doing Good job and tough break for Hill Murray as not a good decision by Sam Wetsby to throw across his body, which led to that interception. And defense just unable to get a stop on the Packers. Quarterback Dan Petrzewski able to keep the ball and fall in for the touchdown. Touchdown all set up by the interception by Arafat Santa, the big defensive lineman. Nice play. Always got to love it when you see those big boys up front getting an interception like that. They always look at the ball and wonder in amazement at how they ended up with it. And you know in practice they're always like just telling the coach like, hey, throw me the ball. Santa nearly losing the ball there, but uh, his forward progress, they said he was down. So 21-14, South St. Paul leads, looking to clinch the Metro East Conference title. Hill Murray looking to play spoiler here on senior night at Higgins Memorial Field here on the campus of Hill Murray. Quarterback Sam Westby back at kick returner, bobbles the kickoff, Westby picks it up, and down. runs it out of bounds. The Pioneers will start first and 10 from their own 28-yard line. And that is where the Pioneers will start first and 10 from their own 28-yard line. 
Yeah, you're saying once we kind of have to settle down, take a deep breath, and you're still in this game, even being down by seven points. Still a lot of time to catch up and uh, tie up the game and maybe score the go-ahead touchdown. So Westby will gather the players together as they break for the line. Under center in that wing T formation. One receiver goes out to the right. There's one out to the left. Wilson goes in motion. They pitch out right. Got some space. But nice job of gang tackling there by the <laughs> Packers. Ball comes out, but they will say he was down. Jackson that outside pitch play to Wilson is the one that's been successful on his two big runs, a play that they like to Second, six, four, throw in the mix there, but South St. Paul ready for it on that one. Yeah, South St. Paul knew that play was coming and the, probably talked about it during halftime as it led to two big plays, as you are saying, in the first half. Delphi trying to figure something to counter that. So good job there by Packer defense. Four-yard gain, however, it'll be six, second and six. Westby takes the ball, hands off up the middle. Not much there for Sontag. Sontag is off here. Looks like he maybe the got one. On the yeah, the Packers defense just doing a good job of clocking up the middle, making Third sure there's just some minimal gain. The Pioneers in their 33-yard line. Big Arafat Santa right in the mix once again. After Third down and six. And if you're Hill Murray, you're in a situation that you don't want to be in third and long after giving up a bad turnover on your last offensive series. Westby throwing the interception, leading to the go-ahead touchdown for South St. Paul. Westby will go shotgun here, though, third and six from their own 33. Takes the snap, a hard snap, handles it, rolls out to the left. Looks like looking to throw, but he'll tuck it. And he will make a man miss, pick up that first down, power ahead. Ball may have come out. South St. Paul saying that they have it. Refs trying to. Now, the refs will say that South St. Paul recovered the ball. Tough break for Hill Murray. But as the weather drops, it gets colder. That ball gets harder to handle, and it's kind of being a factor tonight. Uh, with Westby just having troubles holding on to the ball as he was kind of muffed that kick return and now has a fumble. May have been it was a little close there. Westby may have been down. Looked like the ball came out a bit late. Regardless, referees signal South St. Paul ball. We'll take a look at that play. Westby's going late. Going left, rather. Oh, yeah, ball does ball come was out before coming out. he goes down. Looked like a knee may have hit the ground, but he kind of turns there and ball came out. South St. Paul takes over Petrzewski, handing off to Bjorklund. Bjorklund picking up positive yardage. It looks like Bjorklund's about good for six, seven yards, a clip. Yeah, he's doing a nice job as being the workhorse here the last couple of drives. And even if he does get stuffed up the middle, they got Dan Petrzewski, who can run to the outside or even up the middle himself to pick up the yards. It's just a great option for this triple option threat. And of course, after saying he's good for six or seven yards he a clip, he picks up carries. five. And he once again gets the handoff, picks up a couple more. Zappa on the tackle for the Pioneers. Bringing up two. third down third and three. three. for South St. Paul to the 43. So that'll be third down and three from the Hill Murray 43 for South St. Paul. Uh, this is a pretty big down here for this Hill Murray defense. Just trying to get something stopped after turning over the ball the last two. Petrzewski once again hands up the middle. Left side goes Bjorklund. He's slammed to the turf, but not after he's carried over the first down marker. Big pickup and big first down there for the Packers. Uh, this Packer offense is just very efficient or run rushing. And just picking up those yards and moving the chains as they've just been doing it all night. Bjorklund taking the brunt of the carries and the punishment of almost a botched handoff there. Petrzewski keeps it. He's able to scramble out to the right side. They'll give him the forward progress, maybe a gain of one, maybe two. Yeah, I don't think uh, Petrzewski knew exactly what he wanted to do until it was kind of a little too late as there was there was some uh, kind of miscommunication, kind of a mishandoff. A bit of an odd exchange ends up 
Petrzewski ends up losing a yard. Then we have second 11. They hurry back up to the line. Two receivers go out left. I form. Bjorklund, the up back, gets the ball. Falls forward for a gain of a couple. And that will bring a third down and eight. As we have third under a minute left here in quarter number three. South St. Paul leading 21 to 14 over Hill Murray. A very quick third quarter here as both teams just running the ball and not really passing too much. Just clock just keeps on moving down. There haven't, haven't been too many passes, but there's there's been a, a couple interceptions, so it, you know, it's no wonder the teams are sticking with the run game. Petrzewski looking to the left, sees a little screen pass, has a man, cuts it up. A real late flag comes in. Nice reception there by 34 Paxton Woods. We'll take a look at the replay. Maybe we can see that penalty. Illegal Paxton block in the back the reception. on the Illegal offense. Back. Ten yard oh, penalty from the spot of the foul. Trenton McLeod Repeat the, the down. The back. Looks like he made it. Maybe was a little hard done by there, but in any case, the Packers will lose yardage on that penalty and will bring up a long third down. You know, in South St. Paul, the only thing that's been hurting South St. Paul it has been South St. Paul. I mean, the Hill Murray defense. You know, playing decent, but they haven't been making enough plays. It's just more likely that South St. Paul has just been hurting themselves. And it's a third down as they look like they're in their punt formation, but the time is winding down in the quarter, and that will do it. That's the end of the third quarter. And that will be the end of the third quarter here from Higgins Memorial Field at the campus of Hill Murray. South St. Paul leading South the Hill Paul Murray Pioneers, 21-14. So as we expected, a close game. South St. Paul once again looking to clinch that Metro East Conference title. Hill Murray looking to spoil it here on Senior Night. Tackle Cancer Night. Senior Night for them as well. Fans adorned in pink. Hill Murray with some pink socks, pink wristbands. Good cause there. We will take a break here at the break of the quarter. We want to thank you for watching TV19 Sports, and we will see you after the break. And it looks like South St. Paul is the punt team out there. Not sure if they understand it's third down. Third down and 13 from the 42. Petruski still back in a punt formation. He gets it and he punts it. Stadium scoreboard has third down. Lineman has third down. Wow, what a head sure what's happening call there. there. I don't think uh, the Hill Murray sideline wanted to make too much of that uh, to give it away, but they may have just received a punt on third down from South St. Paul in a seven point football game. I, I'm at a loss for words. I, I can't explain it. I Especially mean, coming out of a quarter break there. Exactly. I didn't know one on the coaching staff at South St. Paul said, hey, it's third down. Maybe we shouldn't put it here. The fans, anyone shouting. Or, you know, I mean, like there hasn't, there's been a lot more interception than completion. So maybe like we're not going to chance that we're going to punt it here. That very well could be. You. <laughs> Like, I don't I'd be, know. I'd be amazed it's, it's if mystifying. that was the case, especially you know when they have a good chance of picking 13 on the ground. But uh, this may very well turn the tide against them. Nice tackle the there in by South St. Paul, taking down quarterback Sam Westby of Hill Murray. Oh, Corey O'Donnell with a nice open field tackle as he makes sure the ball carrier doesn't go Second anywhere. So if you're just joining us, Hill Murray taking over the ball on what we believed to be a punt on third down by South St. Paul. Still unsure about that one. I'm still confused. That's just bizarre. You don't see that. Now there are a couple penalties leading to that, but I don't believe there are any loss of down or any were declined. Um, Lions Judge had it as third. Scoreboard had it as third. I have it as third. Regardless, Hill Murray will take over with the football. Wilson and on carry. second and eight, they hand to Marshawn Wilson. Loss of one. Wilson, and he loses yardage. Third and nine for Hill Murray from their 20 yards. And he will go back to the exact line of original line of scrimmage for a third and ten. 
And I think what it was is like South St. Paul coaching staff just had extreme, extreme confidence in their defense because it's just playing lights out, getting two turnovers here and maybe forcing another three and out. That is true. Hill Murray offense hasn't seen much of the field here in the second half. Third down and 10. Westby to throw, looking right. Tucks it, still looking downfield. And he just runs it out of bounds for the sack. Had nobody there. Uh, South St. Paul coverage did a nice job there. That was definitely a cover sack. Westby just looking downfield, couldn't find anybody. Just had to run it outside. He just had no time. You may be right. Perhaps the third down punt was to uh, get the defense on the field who has been playing so well. If this isn't high school football, I don't know what is. So referees conferring here. Looks like Hill Murray will punt. Quarterback Sam Westby doing double duty as the punter as well. Deep back for the South St. Paul Packers is number 14, Trenton McLeod. Snap is back. Punt is up. McLeod looks like he will field it. And he will actually let it bounce. And Hill Murray will down it. Ball rolls dead at the South St. Paul 46. And South St. Paul will take over first and 10 from their own 46. Such a confusing call. I just. Man, it was just weird. So I can't explain it. Commentator still a little blown blown back on the last possession. South St. Paul punting on third down, we believe. If we can get any word on what was that what that was about, we will certainly inform you. Regardless, they do come up with a three and out stopping uh, Hill Murray on a three and out after that third down punt, and now South St. Paul will regain the possession. And they go first and ten here. Option pitch out left. Not much room to run at all on the far left side. And and ushered out of bounds. Martinez. Forced out of bounds. Hill Murray defense doing a nice job of Second defending against that South option play. It's just been a minimal game there on that first down. So well defended option there. Andres Martinez picking up no gain. So that'll bring up second and ten. South St. Paul. And just as I was going to guess, handoff goes up back. Jaden Bjorklund, nice job once again by Hill Murray defense there, plugging up the middle. Short, short gain for Bjorklund, and that will be a third down and nine. So Hill Murray looking to maybe get the football right back. Yeah, if Hill Murray wants to get back in this game, their defense has to make a play. And so far it seems like both offenses in the second half have just kind of been hurting themselves and not really kind of the defense. Well, I guess that's not true. South St. Paul's defense has been playing remarkably well this second half, getting two turnovers. So Petruski back to pass, looks right, has a receiver, once again comes off his hands. Petruski's pass falls incomplete. Theodore Frid once again unable to bring in the ball. The ball may just been a little bit too cold to catch, and uncatchable. It just hits him straight in the hands. It's like a nice pass there for Petruski, and just unable to bring it in, Frid. Yeah, just right there, just unable to get bring it down. I've heard of a hot potato. Maybe it's something like a cold football. <laughs> it looks like the cold weather has indeed been a factor here second half. A few fumbles, a few uh, muff kicks, and it looks like they will fake the punt. Petruski looking to run on the outside. Long, he lunges forward, ball comes out. Ref said he did get out of bounds. And we will have to see where they mark him. Looks like they have marked him just shy of the first down. And this was on fourth down. They did punt on fourth down this time, or at least attempt to punt. They did a fake. We'll take a look at it. Uh, looks like but they need to bring the chains out for this one. Petruski getting some yardage. Looks like they'll say he stepped out of bounds before that ball came out. Regardless, have a little timeout here as the referees want to get a exact measurement, get the lines out there. And as we take a look at the Hill Murray crowd there, adorned in pink for the tackle cancer night. Always supporting a good cause. And we'll see the chains come out. Yeah, it always seems like the chain game is always the farthest away from the ball as possible, doesn't it? 
It does. Can we get one on your side also? And it looks like he will indeed be short. Hill Murray will take over the ball on downs. So a couple curious uh, special teams calls there in succession for South St. Paul. One a punt on third down and one a uh, fake punt on fourth, fourth down. down. Fourth and fourth, ten fourth that they down. don't get. And they, they seem inclined to keep Hill Murray in this game. But in all actuality, the, the Packer defense has been playing well. I mean... They've been playing well all game. The one thing they have to worry about is a big, big play from Marshawn Wilson. The two scores so far for Hill Murray have been set up by big runs from number 23. Yeah, if you keep Marshawn Wilson in check, I mean, the Hill Murray offense has just been ineffective for the most part. Quarterback Sam Westby intercepted twice, fumbled once. As cold weather definitely playing a part here in the second half. So Westby on her center got Wilson to his left. Wilson now motions out left, now motions to the backfield. They fake the pitch, hands off goes. Inside, Real quick header to David Zerabinski. And Zerabinski will pick up a minimal gain there. A couple seven. yards, gain of two, second and eight. Zerabinski was kind of frustrated with himself kind of getting tackled there as he the Packer defender didn't make that tackle. He had could get a couple more yards out of that deal. He did look to indeed to have some daylight there if he was able to get by the defender. He was not. It was a three-yard gain, they'll say. Second down seven from their own 47. Hill Murray trailing by seven. Looking to tie it up. Wilson, once again, does not get the ball. The fake goes his way. Deep throw and almost intercepted once again. Looks like the Hillary receiver had a step. But defensive back Trent McLeod coming up with a big, big play. So they do the play action to Marshawn Wilson. Go deep to the right side. Wetsby just a little, obviously a little short there to his intent, intended receiver. And as much as the defense where Hill Murray has to make the play, the, the same is true for the offense that they want to get back in this game or tie up this game. All right. And Westby goes in motion, sends Wilson. They fake it to him once again. Pressure coming blindside. Westby, Westby looking across his body. He finds a receiver who was able to take Westby it up past the, the, the line of scrimmage contact. to near midfield. Couple yard pickup. And yeah, it looks like the punt team's coming out for Hill Murray. Fourth and five for Hill Murray from their and 49. With a fourth and five, trailing by seven just on their side of the field, Hill Murray will elect a punt. Now we've seen at least two fake punts here in this game, so. And Hill Murray was success successful on their attempt, picking up the first down. So this is by no means a sure thing, but they may want to punt excuse me, pin the South St. Paul offense deep into their own zone. And indeed, they do elect to punt it away. Sails out of bounds. Not a great Westby kick there from Westby. And it will be spotted. Yeah, with that ball, with it being as cold as it is, punting that ball is probably just like punting a rock. This is going to hurt your foot afterwards. And it looks like the ball will be spotted at the 36 or 37 yard line of South St. Paul. And the Packers, and the Packers uh, punt return did a nice job of kind of playing a punt safe, making sure that the fake field or the fake punt would not be an option for Hill Murray. And so South St. Paul taking over first and 10 from their own 37. Petruszewski under center, hands off, up back. And that's good to see number five, Malik Holmes back in after what looked to be a bit of a bad injury, but he is he walked off the field and he is back in action and picks up a nice carry there. That looked like he was stopped about three yards short of the first down, but he just kept moving his legs and picking up the first down. Really powerful running by the fullback. Which is impressive after watching the replay of that injury. You might think his uh, leg power would be an issue there. So with that first down, South St. Paul will have the ball at the, their own 48. 
Petruszewski under center. Fakes the handoff to the up back, keeps it himself, and rumbles ahead. Petruszewski the ball carry. For a decent pickup there. And that'll be a gain of seven, bringing up a second and three. I know that we've seen quite a bit of running tonight from the Packers, but this late in the game, we're going to see even more, and they're probably going to slow down this game clock and try and take as much time as they can. Try and shorten this game up by quite a bit. And they will indeed have a second and three as just over six minutes and counting remaining in the ball game. Handoff will once again go to Malik Holmes. Petruszewski on the keeper. That looked like Petruszewski kept the ball and just used his, uh, Malik Holmes as a blocker. First and ten for and Paul. Does a good job faking out me, faking out the defense a little bit. And most importantly, he does pick up the first down. That'll be a first and ten on the Hill Murray 40 as the Packers continue to march. And handoff, no, once again, faking the handoff to Holmes. Petruszewski able to fall ahead for a couple additional yards. Yeah, Petruszewski just showing off that the athlete that he has running up the middle. And he likes to dish out the pain too. We've seen him numerous times like lower his shoulder and pick up a tough yard or two. Definitely did it on that fake punt attempt, just unable to convert it. And it does indeed look like South St. Paul will just want to keep it on the ground, pick up as many first downs as they can, and keep that clock running. Petruszewski hands it off to Malik Holmes. Malik Holmes has some space to run. Rumbles up the middle and will pick up the Holmes first down of a big, big game there. 15 yards. Game 14. Packers just doing a nice first job of moving the, the, moving the chains and ticking this yards. clock down as they get closer to the triple zeros. The handoff going to Holmes as he... Uh, Bounces off a tackle, picking up the first down. So it looks like, uh, not sure what the status of Jaden Bjorklund is. He's been the primary rusher here for South St. Paul this evening, but Malik Holmes in on this drive and doing a good job picking up good chunks of yardage and keeping the clock moving for the Packers. And the right. once again get the ball. Holmes the ball carrier. Wild on the tackle. Looks like the refs are trying to settle down both teams, maybe Game getting four. a little bit chippy here in the cold Second weather. Six for Paul from the as you were saying, like Bajorklin's out of the game at the moment, but Malik Holmes doing a nice job of picking up the slack and showing off flashes, flashes of his own tough running up the middle. Bjorklin with a score and Nearly 100 yards, if not over 100 yards on the day. And Petruszewski will keep that one, faking the handoff to the up back Holmes, who they gone to the previous couple of plays. Petruszewski picking up positive yardage there on the second and seven. Gain of five, which will bring up a third, third and two. Two for the Packers from the Hill Murray 13. And that'll be on the Hill Murray 13. Yeah, the Packers offensive line just keeps on pushing their bodies backwards. And uh, what the running backs were, uh, the Packers are just picking up first downs. They've been doing an excellent job. And handoff will go to up back Malik Holmes. Holmes stood up at the line of scrimmage. Holmes the ball carrier. I mean, a yard ahead of the line of scrimmage. On the tackle for the Pioneer. And he is right he is around. The, the first down. And he will be short of the first down. Fourth and one for South St. Paul from the 12 yard line. And it looks like Hilmer will Murray. take a timeout. So there's a short fourth Hill down Murray here timeout. for South St. Paul. South St. Paul place kicker Nick Ritchie. Very game. good. We will see what their decision is after we take a break. I want to thank you once again for watching this presentation of On Location TV 19 Sports. And we will see you in a sec.
Big dreams and good grades aren't enough to get into college. There are actual steps you need to take. Finding someone who can help is the first and most important. For the next steps, go to knowhowtogo.org. We do play four and one for South All right, we are back from the break. We have exactly three minutes remaining. A big fourth down and one. South St. Paul has kept their offense on the field. They lead by seven deep in Hill Murray territory. Hard count there. Petrzewski will keep it after the hard count and he pounds his way ahead. Picks up the first down and more. Looks like he gets down to about the two yard line, one yard line. Game of 10. Pretty good gamble there by first the Packers coaching staff the as Petruski's just able yard. to pick up the first down, but even if they didn't, they would have to force this offense of Hill Murray to do something. And so far in the second half, they just haven't been able to put a series of plays together and move the ball at all. Looks like the uh, ground attack of South St. Paul has just worn down this Hill Murray defense. They've certainly been, South St. Paul offense has certainly been on the field considerably more. In the Hill Murray offense, Petrzewski once again goes keeper. And once again, he will find the end zone. His third score of the night, the fourth for South St. Paul, and they will open it up to a 27-14 advantage. Uh, pretty deflating if you're the Pioneers. Just unable to come up with a stop and kind of puts the game a little far away, being down by 13, potentially 14 here. And Touchdown set up by the uh, Fourth down and one QB keeper there. There was a bit of a decision time with the kicker, Nick Ritchie, here being. Oh, and a good rush in from Hill Murray. Kick it, uh, snap is down, and the kick is good. And that will make it a 28 14 lead for South St. Paul as we have 232 remaining in the fourth quarter. And the situation now. As Hillmore needs to get a couple of quick touchdowns and hopefully pick up an onside kick attempt. Uh, just they have not been able to move the ball at all here in the second half. Um, the Packers have been doing a nice job of containing Marshawn Wilson. He just hasn't been picking up. He hasn't had a huge play at all in the second half, and it just seems like he was mostly their offense in the first half. Just been held in check here by the Packers. I think a big. Big part of that is that South St. Paul's offense has really uh, dominated the time of possession here, been on the field the majority of the time in the second half. Wilson with a couple of 50 plus yard runs that set up, well, one went for a score and another set up the other score for Hill Murray. And he will go back deep to re retrieve the kick. The Packers have been using the, utilizing the pooch kickoff for most of the game. You know, with Wilson back there, you got to imagine they do it once again. Yeah, wherever the ball is, though, for the Hill Mary offense is going to be tough going for them. 28-14 oh, lead for the Packers. A real, real short kickoff there. It will bounce. Oh, oh, and it looks like they were trying to receive it. But the ref will say that it went out of bounds before the Packers were able to fall on it. And that will be an illegal procedure penalty. Yeah, really good play. Really good play attempt there by the uh, Packer kicking team just unable to catch the ball, but nice gamble there, just didn't come up with it. And Hill Murray will have decent field position. Our team, team five yard the penalty. There was just to keep Re the ball away from Marshawn Wilson at all costs. And they will elect to have South St. Paul re kick the ball uh, after the illegal procedure penalty. I uh, wonder if the Hill Mary coaching staff just may have something cooked up here, maybe do kind of reverse to Marshawn Wilson, just kind of put the ball in the hands regardless where it's at. Try and just get something going or a smart going in the second half. Will be very, very big if they were able to take this one back to the house. It would make it a one score game once again. Although we only have 232 remaining. So Nick Ritchie will once again set up here for the kick. South St. Paul making sure that they're onside there uh, after kicking off from a different, farther back after the penalty. 
Ritchie once again goes short. Ogren for Hill Murray will receive. Kind of stutter steps and ultimately brought down there on the right side. Good field position for Hill Murray to take over, but trailing four by 14 with under two and a half remaining here in the game. It's going to be a tall order to come back in this one. Yeah, it will be a tall order, and they do have decent field position. I kind of expect them, Hill Murray to kind of go in the shotgun formation, kind of abandon the wing tee here for the foreseeable future. They have been running the ball a lot, using the wing tee formation a lot. However, quarterback Sam Westby is one of the Metro East Conference leaders in passing, so he ha has shown the ability to wing it a little bit. He rolls to his left. Flag comes out. He does find a receiver. Receiver goes out. And that will be for a first down. However, there's some laundry on the field, and we will see what that call is. Probably looks like it may be holding. Certainly does, as the flag is laying in the backfield. You know, even this play is probably going to be coming back. Henry Boyer did a nice job of catching the ball and getting out of bounds, making sure the uh, play clock would stop. Heads holding. up play by him. On the holding offense. The and a foul. will indeed be holding yeah. against, against Hill Murray. Yeah, it seems with Sam Westby, whenever he kind of lines up the pass, he has to roll out to one side, just has not been able to step up in the pocket. I don't know how much of that has to do with just him being harassed by the Packers defenders, but just just has not stepped up in the pocket. Really seems like he has to roll out. And a lot of times when you roll out, that is at the risk of holding, and that indeed was what the penalty was. Westby takes a quick drop, fires to his right, but the ball will fall incomplete. That'll be second and 23 now. Pioneers with the ball on their own 33. And that ball is going to be cold. I mean, it's cold tonight. It's probably, yeah, just like you can see in the Hill Mary huddle, just see the breath of their players. As throughout this game, the temperature has continued to drop. And you can just imagine what that's doing with the football, just making it harder to catch. We have definitely had a few more turnovers here, second half, as we had first. So shotgun looks to his left, batted down by the defensive lineman. Referee will signal incomplete. Nice play by the defensive lineman there of South St. Paul, being aware of where the football was being thrown and batting it down. Getting his hands up, kind of instructing the path of the football. Ah, this defense of the Packers have just came to play in the second half, getting some turnovers, and for the most part, Hill Murray just has not been able to do anything. And a very nice heads-up play there by Rito, Rito Cortez off the outside edge. Yeah, I look for Hill Murray definitely to be in four-down territory. So on third and 20. Three, Westby goes shotgun, looking to his left, looks to throw, nice defense there. Looking short for Zarin Binsky, but the defender all over him. Yeah, Corey O'Donnell providing the pressure there on the wide receiver and doing a lay in the wood, making sure he could catch the ball. O'Donnell with a hard hit on Westby earlier in the game and coming up with a big play there as well. So on fourth and 23 from their own, 33, two minutes exactly remaining in the ball game. Hill Murray trails 28 to 14. And big play here. Pretty much gonna decide the ball game. Time out taken by the Pioneers. That is their second. And looks like Hill Murray will take a timeout. We will as well, and we'll see you after the break. In 1977, an eight-year-old boy picked up the game of golf from his father. The odds of that same boy then making it to the US and European pro golf tours? One in seven million. The odds of the Big Easy winning the US Open twice? One in 1.2 billion. The odds of him having a child diagnosed with autism? One in 150. Ernie Else encourages you to learn the signs at autismspeaks.org. All right.
side, and you take a look at the lights here at Higgins Memorial Field. Two minutes remaining, fourth, a long, long fourth and 23 for Hill Murray as they trail 28-14. Two receivers out left. Westby looks to his left. Looks to throw, looks like he's looking Marshawn Wilson's way. A lot of defenders in the area, and it is intercepted. And South St. Paul defender will slide to his knees to ensure that his team keeps the football. Flag comes out very late there. Brandon Shanley picking up the third turnover here in the second half for the Packers. Didn't look like he really needed it. Could have just batted the ball down and they would have had better field position. But hey, a turnover is a turnover. Westby just looking for playmaker Marshawn Wilson. Good job by the Good Packer job. defense. Yeah, I don't fault Westby for trying to make a play there. I mean, it's fourth and 23. You've got to do something being down two touchdowns and two boots left. I, it's kind of a situation. You just have to throw it up and hope that your playmaker could make a play. And, Unfortunately, it didn't work out that way, but it was kind of a situation where they had to do it. That'll be the third interception, fourth turnover overall for quarterback Sam Westby. Rough night for him. Tough night for Hill Murray Pioneers. However, they were going up against a conference champion contender, South St. Paul, who are looking to lock up that conference title. They are now in victory formation and will indeed just down the football. Yeah, a really good season here for South St. Paul. Uh, they started off the season with the loss to Chan Hassan, and now they reeled off six straight victories, soon to be seven, undefeated in the Metro East to clinch that title. You got to like that momentum going into the section playoffs. And they were rolling to go like for the four straight games they held their opponents to a single to like a single touchdown or lower than eight points four straight times and they've won close games it's a mark of a good football team which indeed they have proven to be a couple curious decisions maybe uh kept uh, hill murray in the game for a little bit but they're ultimately able to open it up to the 14 point lead and keep it there. You know, on that third down punt, maybe their coaching staff knew something that we didn't. I don't know. Well, they came they came away with the W, and that's all that matters. Yep. Uh, still would like to get some clarification on what happened there, but uh, you know, the thing that's mind-boggling about that too is like it wasn't it was a full on it was punt formation. It wasn't even like a pooch punt or like an attempt to align. Uh, well, they had that formation going at the end of the third quarter. Quarter break, come out, same, same formation, same down on the markers, on the scoreboard. Regardless, doesn't matter. South St. Paul picking up the win as time winds down. And that will be our final here from Higgins Memorial Field. South St. Paul 28. Hill Murray 14. As we take a look at some of the scores, there's that's Petruski there going in in the first quarter for the first score of the game. One of his three touchdowns in the game. There's Westby keeping it, powering forward for a touchdown to tie it up. Big pitch there to Marshawn Wilson. Big interception there off the hit. That was a big play on defense with uh, South St. Paul threatening to take the lead there. And Hill Murray defense coming up big, getting that interception, keeping themselves in the game. And there was a Marshawn Wilson fumble. One of the five turnovers tonight for the Hill Murray Pioneers. Just a sloppy game for them. Workhorse Jaden Bjorklund there getting the ball and giving his team the lead. And this the big interception by the D lineman, Arafat Santa, as he's able to bring that ball in. You know, that situation, the game was tied 14 to 14. And the backers are just able to capitalize and get the go-ahead touchdown. The tale of turnovers here as uh, the Hill Murray Pioneers commit five 
as they fall 28-14. There's Petruski again falling forward on the keeper for another touchdown. He had three on the day. There's the third one. 13 now on the season, I believe. So that will be our, that will conclude our coverage here from Higgins Memorial Field on the beautiful campus of Hill Murray. We want to thank you for watching On Location TV 19 Sports. We want to give a big shout out to Arlen, Nick, and everyone else here on the crew at TV 19. I'm Sam Erickson. I'm Michael Lawrence. Thank you for watching. Catch us next time.